Hello everyone, welcome to day 75. And I'm offering along with the eight limbs of yoga, a short vinyasa flow to accompany these sharings. And so you can look for that. And today I was really emphasizing connecting with the earth element, with mother earth in a relational intimate way. And I want to follow up on that idea as we go deeper into our discussion of the first limb of yoga, which are the yamas. And as I said, yamas are moral restraints, but of all the moral restraints listed, there's one that really shines and that is always emphasized. And that is the value of ahimsa or non-harming. And I remember my teacher Radhaji sharing a story about Swami Dayananda, that he would take time to guide the ants out of his shower every day. And when he was younger and just getting started as a teacher, students would gather in his kutir and they'd be awaiting for him to come share his wisdom with them. But if he needed a shower, he took that extra time and the students just had to wait no matter how long it took. And knowing Swami Dayananda, having been in his presence, you know that this just came organically from the love and kindness in his heart. He was so anchored in that vision, that darshana of non-separateness. And so he couldn't help but guide the ants out of his shower before he bathed. And I want to share with you that I was reflecting today that we often focus on non-harming. So the value of ahimsa as being non-harming as what we shouldn't do. But what I've been taught is that the value of ahimsa is also about benefiting others, benefiting all that is. And I was thinking that in regards to benefiting Mother Earth, that one way is to connect with her in a more intimate relational way. Because think about it, when we have a lover, what do we really want? We wanna hear those sweet words of encouragement, that we're valued, that we're loved, that the world wouldn't be the same without us because those words heal our very being. And so I think that Mother Earth also benefits from us offering gestures of sincere gratitude and love. And so I wanna invite you to think about the aspect of nature that you resonate with the most and maybe it's the ocean or the sun or the mountains. And maybe you can, maybe you have a photo that you can put near your, your throne where you sit to go deep inside yourself and connect with your essence and maybe offer a flower or a candle and just integrate that into your personal time of offering a gesture of gratitude to the earth element, to mother earth, because where would we be without her? We're in these material body suits, making our journey through life, stepping our feet on her, and she's got us always. So I invite you to join me in connecting with Mother Earth, with nature, with that earth element, especially in this intimate way. Om peace.